welcome back! Today, we are photographing a sunset at this lake. I'm also trying out using a GoPro to capture the POV footage. You will see that I don't have it exactly figured out on how to keep it level for the horizon. I have it clipped on my camera bag, and when I move my arms to photograph, I didn't realize the GoPro horizon tilts. So I'll have to figure that out for a better way, but this sunset is a perfect opportunity to try some POV photography. Here's the first photo so we can look back to it at the end and see how much the sky changes. Next I wanted to use the silhouette of the trees as a frame. Next I walked out to the dock to get just a lake with no trees and this shows I had no idea the GoPro is not pointed directly in front of me. It is now pointing up. Ah, uh, there must be a better way of doing this, but hey, just look at that sky. More people have shown up for the sunset, which gave me the idea to try and include them in my photos. And I really like how this photo turned out. These two people were walking their dog right in front of me. Next I wanted to try to photograph the tree again, since the sun is lower now. I started focusing more on trying to find people to photograph with the sunset, so I found these two off on the side laying on the grass. I like it. Here are two more people taking photos. Now let's move to the dock and photograph these people. With everyone focused on the sunset, no one is paying attention to me, which is how I like it. And now the sun is completely down, and I'm trying to capture the last glow of the night. Alright, that was fun. I would say my favorites are number four, because the irony of it being a photograph of a photographer taking a photo of the sunset. Number seven, because of the couple. Aren't they cute? And number 10, because of the bottom reflection of the water. So which photo do you like most? Vote by leaving a comment below. And if you have a secret strategy to keep the horizon level on your GoPro, let me know that too. Thanks for watching.